So, um, my kind of recommendation to you is you're just going to want to put the Dr. Pepper in the coconut, and then you're just going to, you're just going to shake that all about, so you're just going to, and, um, and with that, you're just going to, I mean, you really just ruined your Dr. Pepper, but, uh, call me in the morning. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Coco's Create. I'm Coleman, and I am here out in, um, Cedar Creek. Uh, Emily and I took a little kind of semi-vacation out here, uh, just kind of chilling out for the weekend, a little Airbnb, we got a little camper thing, we got the Colorado River behind us down there, so some, some beautiful views, some nice tranquil scenery, and, uh, and we're just chilling. But while we're chilling out here, what better to chill with than some Coco's Create reviewing, right? So, um, so yeah, so I went out to the store, and I got Dr. Pepper Creamy Coconut. So Emily's parents actually also recommended this to me. I had seen it before, but they were the ones that really recommended this to me. And um, when I saw it out there and I was looking for a Coco's item, I was like, well, seems like we got the perfect thing here. So yeah, so um, it's classic Dr. Pepper with a creamy coconut flavor added in. Simple as that. Simple as that. Will it be good? I don't know. For for the real Coco maniacs out there, you already know. Uh, some some of you may be new. Some of you may just not be as familiar. Um, but Coco, that's me. <laughs> I am not a big cola fan. I'm not a dark soda fan. So Dr. Pepper is one that has um, kind of surprised me at certain times with its flavor. I kind of enjoy it uh, from time to time, but. Um, it, I've only had it in the reviews. It, it hasn't gotten to the point of enjoyment. Sorry, I keep going out of frame. I don't have a lot of, a lot of headroom. This is me sitting up, so I gotta kind of slouch down, um, because I wanted to get the river in the background. I wanted you guys to see that beautiful thing back there. Um, but, so yeah, um, so yeah, so, uh, I, I've never, it's, hasn't gotten to the point where I'm like, I'll order that outside of a review, but, uh, in the reviews, I don't mind the Dr. Pepper so much, okay? Um, but yeah, so we've got Dr. Pepper Creamy Coconut. Um, so we got 23 flavors, but I guess now we have 24 flavors in the Dr. Pepper, right? Because there's the 23, and then there's the 24th being the Creamy Coconut, the Creamy Coconut there. Um, so I guess the only thing to do is to crack this bad boy open and take a sip. It is cold. Uh, it is cold. We got it. We got it at the store. Brought it right back. So let's go ahead and delicious, lovely sound. Nice little crisp up there. Beautiful. Some bubbles coming up, but it is not foaming over. Emily did a great job of holding this steady in the car while we drive over. So, uh, so yeah. Um, and then I guess it's time for cheers. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the dang phone. This is kind of scrum diddly umptious. Um, so y'all know, y'all know, I'm not a cola guy. You guys know that. You guys know I'm not a big fan. And while, I, like I said, Dr. Pepper is like one of the ones where I'm like, kind of like, maybe, maybe. Uh, but I'm still not a huge fan of the base form of Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper Creamy Coconut comes in. <sighs> Excuse me. Dr. Pepper Creamy Coconut comes in and kind of steals me away. Kind of sends me away to, to sacred place as sweet as cake. Um, it's kind of got a pocket full of sunshine right now. It, um, the creaminess is a big part. I thought it was pretty much just coconut flavor, but I think they did add like a cream soda flavor in with the coconut. So it makes it both coconutty and creamy. And I think that's the flavor that I'm needing. A little bit more cream. Maybe I like a maybe I like a cream cola. Maybe I need to try some cream colas. Maybe I need to try 
Coca-Cola cream. I know that's not a thing, but, you know, like, the, the general thing. Uh, but, wow. It makes the taste much smoother. It makes it smoother. It does. Um, so the, the coconut is, like, nice and kind of tropical, tasty, yum, yum, yummy. Um, and then the, the creaminess, like, I have nothing to say besides it brings a creaminess to it. Um, it, I guess it kind of, like, makes it, like, light, lilting on the tongue, um, milky almost, but not milky in a gross way. Um, and then it kind of complements that original Dr. Pepper flavor that you're already having, um, I, I can't, I'm sorry, but I can't name all of the Dr. Pepper, all 23 of them off the top of my head. I know it's got cherry. I know it's got, uh, I know it's got, it's got sarsaparilla. It's got vanilla. It's the sweet one. You, you guys remember a little sweet? You guys remember a little sweet? What's he up to now? Um, regardless, I think it complements that coconut flavor really well. And, um, and it kind of combines to uh, create this, like, this very verbose flavor that is not overstepping its bounds. It has, like, a nice layer of coconut that you can truly taste, right? Um, I think coconut is kind of one of those flavors that people are a little up and up and up and around on. You know, uh, some people really like coconut. Some people hate coconut. Me... I like the taste of coconut. Coconut flakes themselves, I'm not a huge fan of, but I like the taste. Uh, but I think coconut flakes themselves can be used. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of like a middle, a middle fan. There's a fly on the phone. Get off of there. Get, scram. Um, so coconut, yeah, coconut. I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of the middle ground of coconut fan here. Um, but I will say, uh, it's good. It's good. Um, I think, yeah, I think it all comes together really well to create a nice verbose flavor um, that is balanced well with all of the flavors in there, the cream, the coconut, and the Dr. Pepper itself. They balance very well to create like a soft thing that even if you're not a huge fan of Dr. Pepper, you can enjoy the more creamy coconut side of it. And if you're not a fan of the creamy coconut, I feel like you can enjoy the Dr. Pepper side of it. Wow, very impressive. I said they gave him a PhD for a reason. Uh, maybe it's a she. I don't know. I don't know Dr. Pepper's gender. Um, but they gave them a PhD for a reason. If I had to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, I think this is really good. And I think I'm going to give this like a 9.8 out of 10. There are some times where I still get that kind of aftertastiness of, um, of the cola. And I mean, that's just a me. That's a me problem. I'm not a big uh, cola person, so the aftertaste is not, like, really for me, but overall, I think the flavor is really good. I'll take one more sip just to make sure that I, I, I want to solidify that rating. No, that's, that stays, that stays winning. That's, that's really good. Um, and so I think, I think, I think, I think, I think that's really all I have to say. I'm blown out. I like that. This is blowing my mind. And Dr. Pepper is not, it's not necessarily a Pepsi or a Coke product, right? It's like its own product, I believe. Um, so like shout out to <laughs> an independent company. That's just not true. Um, Dr. Pepper slash seven up incorporated. I'm sure they're still owned buy it there is caffeine in this that's gonna mess me up later but we'll we'll deal with that when it comes to it um but yeah they're they're probably still owned by pepsi or coca-cola or whatever but um yeah that's really all i have to say so uh shout out dr pepper thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video go ahead and drop that like if you didn't like this video it's okay to drop that dislike but let me know what you didn't like about it if you're like coleman we want to see more of the water i'd be like i would but all those cushions down there are very wet. It's been rainy this weekend, so it's it's very wet down there. Um, and also there's some spiders because it's like a dock area, and I'm, I don't like spiders very much. Uh, but 
let me know what you didn't like so I can I can make these videos better for you. If you want to see whatever I post, if you want to see more of I, what I, uh, if you like my content, make sure you click that subscribe button. If you want to see be notified of whatever I post, whatever it is, be the first one there, all that good stuff. Make sure you ring that little dinger bell. Ring that little dinger bell. Ring that little, like that. And YouTube will send you a post of whatever I post, whatever it is. You can be the first one there, all that good stuff. If you look in the description, find links to Coco's Great Instagram, Coco's Great TikTok, and Coco's Great Twitter. We're posting little updates, little videos, stuff like that. So check those out if you're creating more Coco's content. And if you're creating more Coco's content, but you're like, I don't really like Coleman that much, make sure you start checking out Riley Rates. Uh, no specific schedule on that, but you will see them uh, uploaded on this channel every now and then. So make sure you check that out. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.